Hello, I'm Avinash. In this pandemic issue of COVID-19, I would like to put up some suggestions which may be of tremendous use for constructing a COVID hospital. The two important papers which have been published in Science, Direct and Nature talk about inflammation, which normally happens in the lungs of the affected patient of COVID-19. That's well known. If you see an important research which has been carried out by Clint Ober and his team at the Earthing Institute, we find that they have worked a lot on anti-inflammatory processes and that anti-inflammatory processes are based on grounding yourself or earthing yourself in that particular area. It is a very, they have talked about earthing yourself. So based on these three research, which have been carried out by the renowned scientists, I would like to put forth a design for a COVID hospital which would have a provision for earthing. It is in short in this particular manner. Now suppose you have a hospital which normally now is designed in an open space, especially college playgrounds and other things have been utilized for creating the COVID hospitals. I would like to present a design which will have earthing inbuilt in the system. So maybe this may be the layout of your hospital and you have the beds which are say laid somewhat like this. These are the beds which are there for the patients. Okay. <clears throat> now, these beds over where the COVID patients may be treated are to be connected by an earthing device or an earthing wire which will go down to each bed. Suppose if we are outside, maybe if I take us, this is in plan, if this is the ground level of the COVID hospital and this is the hospital which is being constructed in over here and these are the beds which are there. So <clears throat> at the central portion because now they are actually on ground and this may be a temporary structure or a permanent structure, there may be a wire which will go right across from one end to the other end and would come out would come out of the building at one particular point okay so maybe this wire has come out in over here and we have a rod which is grounded this goes on in the earth part this goes in the earth part now <clears throat> this wire is connected by the probes which normally you use for ECG or the other part. So there may be about four or five probes, probes which will be connected to each patient. So there may be four or five probes which will be connected to each patient. Okay. So it's a very basic simple construction wherein you have an insulated conductive wire which goes directly to the earth and each of these patients are connected to this conductive wire and you have <coughs> these probes which are attached to his lungs or the chest area <coughs> sorry to the chest area because that is the most affected part so once these are connected to the patient then automatically he is earth once these patients are earth as per Clint Ober 
or Stephen Sinatra and all those people who have worked on earthing for more than 20 years, we can say that the moment they are earth, their inflammatory levels come down. Now, this is the claim which has been made by the book which has been which has been discussed in detail and that's on earthing. So it's the most important health discovery ever and it only talks about inflammation and how we can reduce inflammation by just touching the ground. We had all this in our practice. We had a ritual of moving around in a temple barefoot. If you see the image of Lord Buddha, you'll be finding that he is touching the hand to the earth. Properly, it is called that he was the witness, earth was a witness for his enlightenment. But it's the other way around, it is for <coughs> getting rid of sufferings. So if you just touch the earth, you get rid of sufferings. So from that point of view, these radiations or these connection to the earth may save the lives of some of the patients who are there. Though <clears throat> this is one of the process, what I have tried to do is link the inflammatory process which has been highlighted by all the researchers in COVID-19 and the earthing work related to Stephen Sinatra and also my research work related to the developments with one of my students in University of Pune related to earthing at higher floors. Now combining these two, if at all, this earthing benefit, if the patients are going to get who are suffering from COVID and they recover faster, then it will be a great contribution to the betterment of the pandemic which has <coughs> The pandemic which has taken us to uh, or ruined our total system. Hello, I'm Avinash. Avinash Ganesh. I'm a researcher and carrying out research in built environment. My area of studies is built environment. I have done a lot of work related to groundwater radiations for which I got a PhD from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University and as a basic degree from civil engineering I know something related to building designs and building construction. A lot of work for the last 20 years has gone into knowing how earth itself benefits us or has a detrimental effect on us. The research is a combination of all these together. It is a humble submission that <coughs> this type of thing has been done or suggestion has been given to you from the point of view of you applying it at a particular location. It, I or my colleagues <coughs> do not claim that this will work. It is based on the papers and the work done by people what we have tried to do is put in, <coughs> apply all these things together and give a layout which will be useful for the COVID hospital. It's up to you to use it and apply it. But the risk is yours. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.